हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट जॉम फार्मेसी यस दिस वन इज़ द बी फार्मेसी फोर्थ सेमेस्टर फिजिकल फार्मास्टिक्स टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन पेपर मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके दिस ईयर्स जस्ट व्हाट यू रोड द एग्जाम्स नो हाँ दैट क्वेश्चन पेपर दिस इज सो बेटर वॉट यू डू मीन्स नाउ इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई विल एड दिस पी डी एफ फ्रॉम देर यू डाउनलोड एंड इफ पॉसिबल यू टेक जेरोक्स ऑफ दैट कीप इट विथ यू just keeping is not important you have to read that and practice and in this video just i will discuss the questions okay and how i prepared the notes what you have to write what you have to keep in mind everything will be discussed in this video no explanation here if you want ha huh, if you want sir i need explanation particular question i need particular questions explanation hmm answers explanation okay if you want me to explain then you can write in the comment section you write sir i want explanation of this so inshallah i will try to explain okay see these are the important uh, question paper means just question paper session has been started from today today i have completed pp2 inshallah tomorrow i will give you pp2 one more uh, means of the i will give of the november november in the november what to wrote what your seniors are wrote no that question paper also and this is very beneficial for you for new for you also you means uh, those who are in now fourth semester and for those those who are having backlog because uh, maximum questions they are asked from the question paper only no more extra things yes let's start uh, first here see derive the equation for the determination of the rate constant half life and shelf life for zero order reaction this is our first question here i had wrote what is rate constant uh, and here is first order zero order reaction i had wrote then uh, and also we had wrote the properties of the colloids okay properties of the colloids see this one colloids what are colloids sorry colloids is next question here only what you have to write means uh, just you have to write rate and zero order what is half life that only it's enough then next question is our or question discuss electrical properties of colloids and add a note on purification of colloids here i had wrote colloid definition properties of colloids in their particular they have asked electrical properties okay here you have to explain the electrical properties this procedure you have to follow this is purification of the colloidal dispersion in purification dialysis electrodialysis and ultra filtration three are there here you have to explain these all and in next one is second question methods to determine the particle size okay different methods are there here first you have to write what is this particle particle size then methods you have to write after writing the methods uh, you can explain any one or two okay to professionally i am taken here anderson pipette method many times they have asked in the examination then our next is five marks five marks write a note on thixotropy here measurement of thixotropy means measurement of thixotropy they have asked means you two mainly basic two measurements are there approach one and approach two that approach one and approach two with the graph you have to explain applications is also very important then our question explain the preventative measure for the chemical degradation by hydrolysis see pharmaceutical degradation you have to write then types of pharmaceutical degradation in that uh, here in chemical degradation this hydrolysis will come okay or hydrolysis oxidation they have asked hydrolysis you write the hydrolysis give the example then fourth question is a uh, write the principle and working of a cup and bob viscometer with a diagram this is a cup and bob viscometer first you write the definition of the viscometer then explain the working principle and all types in cup and bob viscometer again you will get a curate type and a serial type then factors affecting chemical degradation these all factors first you have to write then you have to explain these all then you write the write a note on effect of electrolytes on colloids okay then explain plastic and elastic deformation sixth question with a graph you have to mention seventh one write a note on stability of emulsion this is the stability of emulsion types of emulsion first you have to write then you go on writing the stabilities then explain newtonian system okay what is the newtonian system you have to explain with the newtonian system graph the ninth one define surface area discuss the air permeability method this is a air permeability method diagram principal method and all next our last session two marks in two marks uh, arrhenius equation they were asked uh, in 11th question they were asked half life and shelf life 12th they asked bulges and spores 13th shear thinning and shear thickening 14th question void volume and porosity 15th one angle of repose they were asked 
16th one plug volume 17th electroosmosis electroporosis 18th one conservation they ask this one is new one conservation maybe this time also they will ask this one because new questions you have to keep in mind okay they will ask definitely then flocculated and deflocculated it is old one actually this question asked in the 5 marks but they have asked in 2 marks this one okay these are the 19 questions sir. go through these questions sir. and if you want explanation for this particular question means ask me in the description uh, sir i want this explanation means inshallah i will come through that and uh, one more point download from the description totally free of cost thank you and see subscribe the channel and share